Okay. It's time mm -hmm. for a live love story of the day. Love. Now listen to this. Our next couple's marriage has been strong since day one after disaster struck on their wedding day from Plover. Now listen to this. Plover has the word lover in it. Plover, <laughs> Wisconsin. Please welcome Carol and Kurt. It's meant to be. That's right. Hi, guys. How are you? We're doing well today. It's cold to, here, but we're doing well. You're doing well in Plover, yes. but you guys met way back in high school. Tell us about that. We did. We met first when we were 12 years old. And again, when we were 15, we met at a dance at our high school. And uh, Rod Stewart was playing on the uh, sock hop at the sock hop, and uh, if you think if you uh, think I'm sexy, that's what was playing. Really? And Kurt was dancing around me in a circle with all my friends. So, wow, <laughs> you guys look am yeah. amazing. Do you know what I love about this photo? You have matching hair. <laughs> matching hair. And I like the glasses he got on too. Now, your Kurt, your wedding day was a total. Disaster. Walk us through it. <laughs> well, 35 years ago, let's see. Well, first of all, the, the rings got left behind. So um, they had to go send somebody back to get the rings, break into the house that was locked, and rings just made it there in time. And yeah. We passed them up through the pews. Carol, do I understand this right? Did your veil catch on fire? Yes. Yes, it did. So we went to the reception. There are three candles at the head table. I was tilting my head, and all of a sudden, my veil caught on fire. <laughs> and my mother, who had been watching me, jumped to me, and she began to clap on my veil. <laughs> and my veil was on fire. So I do have it right here, Kelly. This is it. This is part of it. <laughs> do you know this what, is so Carol, I got to tell you, I was thinking how beautiful that veil was and what a shame, but you managed, she managed to save most of it. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't know that this happened really until the end of the day. So when I looked at it, I thought, I had an 80s hairdo. I should have gone up in flames. <laughs> it should have been. Be glad you're not from New Jersey. That would have been a catastrophe. <laughs> And then the DJ didn't show up? So the DJ service that we hired was called Nightmare Productions. <laughs> and he sent his buddy, they set up the equipment, and they said, that's it. That's it. The DJ was a no-show. Yeah. So my brother, who knew how to do this, got up and kind of took over. So it was not an all-fail. Yeah. Um, you know, everything that happened that day, it could have been so much worse, but it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was just a really good lesson in what marriage is all about, you know, when you think about it. You know, just having laughter, um, being able to forgive, you know, just kind of getting yourself, you know, through it. It was just, it was about the wedding, not about what went on that day. Yeah. And so great to see your happiness. Later. We have to uh, take a break, but we know you're recovering from COVID. Are you doing okay? We are doing okay. Yes, um, we're about four weeks out from being tested positive. And um, there's still some days we think we have, still have COVID, and then there are other days we feel great. So well, hang we're in doing there. well. We, hang we in hope there. it gets better and we, better. We love yeah. to see your love. Thanks for coming on with us, and congratulations. And don't forget, we have, a, we have something special to make your Valentine's Day great. $500 coming your way for your Valentine's Day dinner. All right? Cool. Thank you. Thanks. Big hugs. Thank you. <laughs>